to a young gentleman in Levitale Matthew Pryor from public noise and factious strife, from all the busy ills of life, take me, my Celia, to thy breast, and lo my wearied soul to rest, forever, in this humble cell, let thee and I, my fair one, dwell, none enter else, but love and he shall bar the door, and keep the key, the painted roofs, and shining spires, uneasy seats of high desires, let the unthinking many crowd, that dare be covetous and proud, in golden bondage let them wait, and barter happiness for state, but oh, my Celia, when thy swain desires to see a court again, may he even around this destined head the choicest of its curses shed, to sum up all the rage of fate, in the two things I dread and hate, mayest thou be false, and I be great, thus, on his Celia's panting breast, fond Celadon his soul expressed, while with delight the lovely maid received the vows, she thus repaid, hope of my age, joy of my youth, blessed miracle of love and truth, all that could e'er be counted mine, my love and life long since are thine, a real joy I never knew, till I believed thy passion true, a real grief I ne'er can find, till thou provest perjured or unkind, contempt, and poverty, and care, all we abhor, and all we fear, blessed with thy presence, I can bear. Throw waters, and throw flames I'll go, suffer in solace of thy woe, trace me some yet unheard of way, that I thy art or may repay, and make my constant passion known, by more than woman yet has done. Had I wish that did not bear the stamp and image of my dear, I'd pierce my heart through every vein, and die to let it out again. No. Venus shall my witness be, if Venus ever loved like me, that for one hour I would not quit my shepherd's arms, and this retreat, to be the Persian monarch's bride, partner of all his pal single quotar and pride, or rule in regal state above, mother of gods, and wife of Jove. O oh, happy these of human race! But soon, alas! Our pleasures pass. He thanked her on his bended knee, then drank a quart of milk and tea, and leaving her adored embrace, hastened to court, to beg a place. While she, his absence to bemoan, the very moment he was gone, called Thyrsus from beneath the bed, where all this time he had been hid. Mara while men have these ambitious fancies, and wanton wenches read romances, our sex will what? Out with it. Lie. And there's an equal strain's reply. The moral of the tale I sing, a posy for a wedding ring, in this short verse will be confident, love is a jest, and vows are wind.